morning everybody and happy Monday. So today is a teacher conference day. Now luckily I actually don't have any conferences. I know everyone out there who is loaded with teacher conferences is probably like what? But I just I don't I think for two reasons. One at the high school level, the numbers are just very low um, of parents who request a conference. And then also with being art, my subject area, I just don't think that many parents really need to or feel the need to meet with me. So for me, what that means is I have a teacher work day. And so I'm excited to get a bunch of stuff done. For my outfit today, I wanted to be really comfortable since I know I'm just going to have a work day today. I want to be comfortable all the time, let's be real, but I really specifically wanted to be comfortable today as well. So first of all, I have my big poofy coat on because it's actually really cold out this morning. Um, and then I have on a gray dress. It's one of those tank dresses, if you can see that. I love these dresses so much, they're so comfortable and I wear them all summer and now I'm wearing them in the winter. Even though it's not winter, it feels like winter. But I'm just wearing them layered. So I have on a poofy um, long cardigan sweater. I wore this a couple weeks ago and I showed it. And then I have on my necklace that has the rose quartz and I paired this with some leggings and then just some black flats which are not great for the cold weather but um my boots like just didn't go with the outfit and um this is that sweater that i said has like those puff sleeves kind of on the cuffs but it's really comfortable and then my hair just threw up in a ponytail because one i wanted it to be easy but also i am out of dry shampoo and so that was that's what i was working with this morning i had to throw my hair up in a in a ponytail and that's okay. I did want to share with you guys my bag because in my other video a lot of people asked about my bag that I um that I've been using for school. I've been using this at the end of last year and then also I've been using it this year and I continue to love it. All right so this is the backpack and I did get this from Target. It has a tassel here but you can take this off if you want. Um, it has two big side pockets, a front park pocket that has buttons to clasp it and then a sleeve inside for your laptop and then one big compartment on the inside. Um, it has two big straps to put on and then I like that this clasps these two um, handles here. And it is a light color, and I thought that would be a problem, but honestly, this, like, canvas material is really tough, and it holds up to, like, getting hit or getting stained or anything like that. I mean, it's a little, it's a little grimy, but I will say, too, you can throw this in the washer. I did this at the end of last school year, and it worked really, really well to just get it all clean and ready to go for the next year. And then this is a whole line in their travel section, and I hope it's still available, because this was, gosh, I want to say last I don't know, spring or something, but I did also get the two um, suitcases, the carry-on case and then the bigger one, and they all match and they look really cute together, so it's a really good set. If I can find it, I'm hoping I can, but if I can, I will put it in my description box. If I can't find it, um, that probably just means they're not selling them anymore, unfortunately, but I'm hoping for you guys that they are. <laughs> Hey guys, so I have been really busy trying to mat a bunch of artwork and hang it up in the hallway. I got a display done that is right by the lobby and it's looking really good. And then I put up some of my ninth graders artwork um, from last quarter actually into a display case. So that is done. I would like to get more up in the lobby and hang it from strings, but I don't know if I'll get to it today. I'll have to see like how far I get with other things. But I did just have to laugh and come on here and tell you um, a funny thing that happened to me today. So if you've ever been new at a school, um, you can probably relate and know how this feels, but it's just like everything's new. You don't know the routines. You don't know things that people don't, and they don't bring it up because they forget that you're new and they forget that you might not know that stuff. So basically what happened was, today as I told you is an in-service day. It is conferences um, in my old school. We were here all day and then we were here all night and it was like basically you're pulling a double and um, that's just part of your contract and here it's a little different. So basically I get to school and I'm like, where is everybody? I was literally the only car in the parking lot, which is not that abnormal because I do get here a little earlier than others, but this was like nobody was here. So I waited a little bit, see, you know, maybe if my coworker got here who's next door and I and now she's never late, so 
when the time kept going and she wasn't here i was like okay something's going on so i'm gonna go up to the office and see if anyone's there like any secretary there was one secretary there i opened the door and she says wow you're here really early and i said i am apparently conferences go from 1 to 8 30 and i don't have to be here till 1 and I stayed till 8.30. So I was thinking, okay, I could go home, I could come back, like what am I gonna do? I could stay and get work done. I was thinking it was gonna be a long day anyway. I didn't think it went till 8.30 though, but um, I thought I thought it was just like a normal day. I don't know, like a normal time period. I didn't realize it was one to 8.30. Luckily my principal is so understanding, it's so nice, and she contacted him and asked him if I could just do my regular hours um, since it's, you know, time is time for me since I don't have any conferences scheduled. And he told me that I could. So that means I am putting in seven and a half hours today and then I am piecing. <laughs> I do not have to stay till 8.30, thank goodness. Um, so I'm since I got here at 7.30, I'll be out at three. And that's a lot better than 7 30 to 8 30 but this stuff happens often when you're new just like little things come up that you get confused about i just hate the first year at a new school sometimes because of this stuff but you have to laugh about it like it is funny and i will never forget now that uh it's from 1 to 8 30. i will never forget it ever again but yep just gotta roll with the punches when you're new so now it is 11 o'clock i am going to start labeling um, this here, I'll flip the camera around and show you. This is what I'm going to start labeling um, with my Cricut. Oh, and then I forgot to show you guys this thing. So this here, let me come around. This huge, huge wooden frame. You guys, this is a loom. It's for weaving. It's called a community loom. It's giant, and it's for a bunch of kids to work together. I had a student put this together for me from the ag department, and he did a great job, and it's so big. I'm so excited for it. This morning I had my post observation meeting so I'll let you guys know how that goes. Yesterday I was able to get some labels up on that like rainbow organizer so I will insert like a clip of that. Um, it just feels so good to have those labels on there now and that everything is organized. Before that I just had like post-its of where I wanted things to go just because I knew down the road I wanted to put labels on it. So I love the labels that my Cricut made. I just love having a Cricut in the classroom. It's, it's, I use it all the time. I use it way more than you would ever think that you would use a Cricut in the classroom. It's like one of my favorite tools probably to have in the classroom. But um, I'm looking at the time I'm gonna get going and I will probably catch up with you guys either on my lunch or after school. Hey guys, so before I leave today, because yes, it is the end of the day, today was crazy. I was so busy, but before I leave, I figured I would show you my outfit, which is very simple. Simple, but I still figured I would show it to you so it is this orange like a burnt orange sweater it's a little longer in the back than in the front and I wish I had like a long necklace for it or like a scarf but they didn't um, so I just wore it plain and then I have on these leggings I got these leggings from Walmart and I kid you not they <laughs> they come up to like here like they're really high-waisted like mega high-waisted um, but I kind of like that because it just kind of like, you know, it makes me feel put together in a way. And they're super soft material. Um, they, they just feel like really good on. And then I have on these booties and I have little like poofy socks kind of sticking out of them. I'm just going to go home now. I'm going to continue working on painting the RV, I think. Um, it was flurrying a little bit ago and it's gotten like pretty cold outside, so I've heard. So... I don't know how much I'll get done, but I'm gonna to try to get some done. And then I really wanna get some reading done tonight too. Um, I'm reading, what's the book called? The Cruel Prince. Um, it's pretty good, it's a fantasy book. I like fantasy a lot. I've been loving reading that book, but I have also been so tired at night that I fall asleep the second I start reading. Doesn't matter if it's a really good book or not. So I'm actually thinking, like this morning I was considering this, that I should start getting up early and reading in the morning because to be honest, I'm useless after dinner. Like, I'm so 
tired. I just want to go to bed. So then if I get up early, I can read in the morning before I get sleepy and I'm awake and I'm ready to go and I can drink my coffee. I used to do that and I loved it. So I think I'm going to try that maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but that's, I don't know. I think that's just a better plan. Good morning you guys and happy Friday. It's Friday already. Don't you wish the week always been like that? I think the last time I vlogged was Tuesday. So I literally went from Tuesday right to Friday and wouldn't that just be wonderful that actually happened. So it's before my classes start today. It's before school and I thought I would hop on here really quick and talk to you before my day started. I wanted to catch you up on a, a couple projects that my students have been doing and also just talk to you guys and chat a little bit today before I could probably wrap up this vlog for the week um, this afternoon. So my students have been working on two different projects. The one is for my advanced art kids. Their goal was to create a stained glass look with oil pastel. Okay, so I pulled some examples for you. This was the example that I had been working on and I showed them. Basically you use oil pastel and then you divide it and add the black oil pastel on top and that's what makes it look like the stained glass. Mine, you probably can't see it from the um, from where you're at, but it's going to be some greenery and then a hummingbird up top. So I really wanna to try to get this example done, but in the meantime, I have some students who are also creating some awesome art. And, and if you're wondering like why it's not done before, it's because I actually don't, always like to have a full example for them. I like them first of all to see the process. Um, this way they can see my sketch, they can see my oil pastel and like before it's all done and then like the final down here. I also don't always like to give them a full example because I think sometimes it can be I don't know, intimidating or I don't want them to just copy it. Sometimes it's good to have an example and other times it's just nice to kind of have them go with it and create their own ideas. So this one is finished and I just think it is beautiful if you can see her lines and how she created this background. So that's really, really nice. I love that. Um, so this one is the Joker. I think it's the Joker, right? Yeah, it's the Joker. And then <laughs> this one is Pikachu. All right, so then for my Art One kids, I am starting a project called a Cardboard Relief Sculpture. Relief Sculpture is basically like um, a sculpture that is three-dimensional on one side. So you're basically taking cardboard and you are layering it so that you are creating space and depth in your artwork, but it's not like a 3D project where it's 3D on all sides. That's Relief Sculpture. So again, my example that I'm working on, a bird with some greenery, very similar to my other one, but that's just my style. I like nature, and so I pull from that a lot. Um, but I'm building up these leaves, and we just hot glue these on. And then I'm gonna build up the bird's feathers um, and really get some depth in this, and then you paint it. So I don't have that many of these done yet because they just started them. This one is probably the closest that I have. She decided to do a sunflower and a bee on there. Um, some of them chose to create a shape like this others chose to have a like a, back, a square background frame like I have it just depends on their design but they are doing a really good job with it some have a lot of depth um, this one has one two three four five I think I gave them I think I said it had to be at least five this is actually six actually I guess for the leaf one two three four five six yeah so I think I said it has to be at least five layers and you have to, you know, build that depth with those layers. I think these are gonna turn out really cool. I'm excited to see them when they're done um, and hang them up in the hallway. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I woke up this morning not feeling the best. I have been taking coldies, I think I have it here. Yeah, I've been taking these coldies for, oh my gosh, I wanna say a week to two weeks now. It's the Walmart brand of it, but I swear by these. Um, usually and I've been taking them like crazy you're supposed to take them when you first get signs of a cold and I've been fighting a cold and today I woke up and I was like oh nope she's here she got me I'm officially sick now there's no going back <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to drink a lot of water I'm gonna try to keep taking these I'm going to try to get some rest when I get back to my rental house today 
I'm going to put on my Thieves from Young Living and try to like fight it with just as many things as I can do basically to make it so it does not get worse. Um, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that when I get sick, it seems to just attack my sinuses and I get sinus infections like that. And so I'm really trying to avoid that because I don't want to use any sick days. <laughs> so I really don't want to take off and get sick enough where I need that. I just kind of want to power through um, and do the best that I can. This is not teaching related, but I still wanted to chat about it with you guys. So this book I have been totally obsessed with lately. Last night I sat down. I want to say I read like a hundred some pages of this book. You can see where I'm at now. What to, I don't know if you can even see that, 295. Um, so I am like, I'm almost there you guys and I am pumped and there is another one after this and I cannot wait to finish this one and then pick it up but if you like fantasy it's a quick read it's an easy read and it is full of just some like uh, politics fantasy I love it it's so good to hear me say that like politics is like what I hate politics but in books <laughs> and in fantasy politics with like who's ruling and all of that stuff i just i don't know i love it in that sense so anyway yeah 10 out of 10 love this book totally recommend it if you're into fantasy i'm about to head home it takes about an hour and a half and then i will be with my husband and my pets which i am very excited about and i'm going to run out and get cold medicine which i'm also very excited about and we're going to spend the weekend packing up our rental home so all good things um i'm not looking forward to the drive but i'm looking forward to getting there so quickly i just wanted to tell you a little story about today we had a substitute I don't think that he subs with us a lot I know he subs in the area and I just said hey I, like, I hope your day is going well you know how's it going and he basically said it's been so easy because the kids are so good <laughs> they're so well behaved they're so respectful they're so independent and I couldn't agree more and I just said like yeah isn't it so nice blah blah, blah. kind of just got me thinking about my whole teaching career and I get asked a lot actually especially on Instagram mostly but basically like people who are thinking about becoming a teacher thinking about becoming an art teacher or, or a different type of teacher um, and just being scared that like maybe they won't get the job that they want right away or maybe they won't get a job at all right away but I think a lot of the questions actually are more like they hear the hardships of teachers and they are a little nervous um, but I guess I just wanted to say, like, if you're someone out there who is thinking about teaching and you hear complaints or you hear things that are going wrong in education, um, just know that it's not everywhere and you might not get your dream job right away. I sure didn't. But every job that I had that was really challenging, it built character. It made me the teacher I am today. It changed my philosophy of teaching. Like, now my focus is always relationships 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 with these kids like that is one of the, my top priorities for sure um, and it's my past experiences that have taught me that so even if you don't get your dream job right away it's meant to happen that way it's going to build you up to be a better teacher and on top of that if you get a job that you don't like you know you're in control of changing that. You can switch jobs. You can find something else that fits your personality more and that just like you feel like is your a better option for you. And, and like, I don't know. I just think that it's not a reason to not go into teaching. And a lot of the things that are out there about teaching is sad and it's unfortunate. But at the same time, it's like, well, then, you know, there's other schools out there. They're not all what you hear, like the bad stuff that you hear online and the complaints and things like that. Like you, you might have to put some extra work into it to find the right school for you, but it is out there. And, and also not every school is going to be 100% perfect. Every place has its pros and its cons, its strengths and its weaknesses. It just, I think, depends on what it aligns with with what you're looking for. Like if the strengths outweigh the weaknesses in the areas that are important to you and like your priorities for a school, then great. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's what you're looking for. Um, but I think, you know, in any career, you might not get your dream job right away. You have to bust your butt and work for it. And it's hard to make a transition. Obviously it was hard to make a transition mid year for me, but, and it's still hard because you know, life is crazy right now with living and everything. You guys know that. 
but it's still worth it because I am so happy and I'm back where I grew up and that makes me happy too and it's just the whole thing. So that's my two cents on the matter. Don't like write off teaching or get, be scared about teaching because of this fear of maybe not getting your dream job or getting into a job that's not ideal. If it happens, you know, like you figure it out and you move forward and you keep going. All right, guys, so I'm going to hit the road. Thank you for watching this week of vlog and I will catch you guys in my next video. Subscribe before you leave, like this video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.